So I've noticed uh, interest in SADS. So this question, we are told to express it in the form of P root of 3. So how do we go about it? So SADS, we are able to express the product. Okay. So if you have root of 12, for example, 12 is a product of 4 times 3. So we can distribute the square root. That's the way it works. So we'll see. Let's look at the first one. 1 over 12. I've said we can express that as 1 over 4 times 3. So introduce, we maintain the square root as it was. And then for the second part, 1 over root of 48. What do you think? You can multiply. You can try actually by dividing if you want. 48, if you divide by, I think, 4 going to turn out to be 1 and then so to be 12 so it means 12 times 4 gives us 48 now 12 can be expressed again as 4 times 3 so 3 times 4 so you can see that we have 4 times 4 there right so you can say 3 multiply by root of 4 root of 4 and again root of 3 whatever you express as a product ensure that you distribute the square root as it was and then minus 1 over root 27. 27 we know can be divided by a 9. So it's a product of 9 and 3. So root of 9, root of 3. Let's see what we can get on the next step. So we can determine that root of 4 is 2. So we're going to end up with 2 root of 3 plus. For this middle part, we have 1 root of 4 is 2, root of 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is a 4, so we have a 4, and then root of 3, and then minus 1, root of 9 is a 3, 3 root 3. At this point, what do we have? We have only a side of root of 3, which is the simplest, we can't actually simplify it beyond that point. But can we come up with a common denominator, that's the question. Of course. So our root of 3, now 2, 4 and 3, what's the common what's the common denominator we can have? If we think of a 6, 4 can be divided there, unless we think of a 12, that's a number that can get both 4 and 3. So we'll put a 12, then try to divide these. So 2 into 12 is going to be 6. This part into that's going to be 6 times the 1 on top to just be a 6 plus 4 into 12, which is 3 times the 1, is 3. 3 into 12, which is a 4, times the negative 1, minus 4. Why am I ignoring root of 3? Because it's common and it's already part of a denominator. So 6 plus 3, 9. 9 minus 4, that's a 5. So a 5 over 12 root 3. Are we in that form already? Not yet. So we can basically multiply by the conjugate. So we have 5 over 12 over 3. How do we go about it? Multiply by root of 3, both the numerator and the denominator. So on top, we're going to have 5 root of 3. The denominator, we're going to have 12 root of 3 times root of 3. That's going to give us a 3. And so our result becomes 5 root of 3 over 36. Okay. Can we, do we have any common divisor between 5 and 36? Any common factor? Not at all. So basically that becomes our final answer. Okay. So that's a very simple. Just follow what you've been given. Try to express it in terms of a product. Distribute the square root. Determine the square root so that you're able to determine the perfect ones. Then you're good to go.